We've only just begun to realize how many asteroids there are and how close some of them come to Earth. Huge lumps of rock have hit the Earth in the past and could do so again. Extending our limits of perception doesn't always make us feel comfortable. Meteorites, rocks from outer space, pieces of other worlds, captured behind glass for us to see. They've been wandering the solar system for millions, maybe billions of years. Some of them visitors from further than its outer edge. It took a major change in how we perceive the world to realize that the sun is just another star and our solar system is part of even bigger structures. 7 43 minutes to reach Earth from Jupiter, so we're seeing it as it was 43 minutes ago. Saturn lies just over one light hour from Earth. But distances beyond the solar system are measured in light years. The distance light travels in one year. To find out what lies beyond the solar system, we send a probe to look the two Voyager spacecraft set off in the 1970s. Voyager 1 is now traveling at 60,000 miles an hour and is 11 light hours away, still transmitting signals back to Earth. It carries our signature on board, information about who we are and where we live in case the probe meets other intelligent life. Voyager 1 has a new mission, to find the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind, particles streaming out from the sun, are beaten back by the interstellar wind. It's heading for the edge of the solar system itself. But before it gets there, it has to pass through the Oort cloud, a motley collection of comets and rocks that it will reach in 20,000 years. But it will be traveling for a hundred thousand years before it meets the sun's nearest neighbor, Alpha Centauri, four light years away. Not one star, but a group of three. As we look further and further into space, we're looking further and further back in time. Distant stars are so far away, their light takes thousands of years to reach us. We're seeing them in the past, at a time before human civilization existed. But beyond the stars is a bigger structure, the galaxy. The galaxy is thousands of light years across, a huge spiral structure of billions of stars. We live in one of the spiral arms, the Orion arm, about two thirds of the way out from the center. From Earth, we see the disk of the galaxy edge on as the Milky Way across the sky. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, will collide with our nearest neighbor, Andromeda. So much of a galaxy is space, it's unlikely that individual stars will collide. But over billions of years, gravity will drag stars into new patterns and eventually into a new combined galaxy that scientists have called Milka Media. 
This is an accurate simulation of what is likely to happen, though this beautiful display will take billions of years to unfold. So is there a limit on how far we can extend our perceptions of time? Some scientists think the universe will go on expanding. Matter and energy will become stretched so thin that anything that happens will be on unimaginable timescales of trillions of trillions of years. And it's possible that this slow, low energy universe will just disappear, spontaneously tunnel into a lower energy state in the quantum vacuum. Galaxies. Our galaxy is only one of billions. Galaxies come in different shapes, spiral like our own, elliptical, or just irregular blobs. All the galaxies are racing apart from each other as the universe expands, but sometimes gravity wins out and galaxies collide. But galaxies are so vast and the stars within them so far apart that the galaxies just fuse together. It seems there's no end to the layers of structure within the universe. Galaxies themselves are part of bigger structures, clusters and superclusters. Our own galaxy is part of a small group of six, which includes Andromeda and the Magellanic Clouds. But this group is racing towards the center of the Virgo supercluster, made up of more than a thousand galaxies. The superclusters themselves are linked into one vast shape, the shape of the known universe. There might be more, but for now, everything we know is here. This is the outer limit of our perceptions.